Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Oxenfree. In the last video, we finally opened up the bomb shelter and things are kind of looking like they're wrapping up. Nona and Ren are dating, Jonas and I are on good terms again, and we're gonna go into the bomb shelter to see what is what up in here. So let us get on going. Jonas? Can I talk to him? I'll hug Jonas. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Well, that's it. I don't like any of the other scrub lords, so let's go. Will it save? Okay, it's saving. Aww. They're together, but Jonas and I are kind of like emo people that have been possessed by ghosts all night, so. Listen, Alex. 6 a.m. I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is, I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting. Worse, actually. Hang Just in there. Hang in there, Jonas, Please? okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. What's hey, what wrong do you with call him? a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you No idea. Him? No clue. Tim. You call him Tim. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, brother. brother. Yeah, it's not one of my finest. All right. Okay, um, yes, just, we'll just keep going. It feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. It's true. It's kind of spooky, There's beds. Right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Well, yeah, I guess. Do you think it guess. would have worked? Like if, if Yugoslavia or whoever dropped an A-bomb on their heads. I don't know maybe if this not. place would have held up. I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. It's kind of sad to think about. All right, Wait, last it's... door. <sighs> Damn, it's another radio wave lock thing. I don't know where Ren and Nona are. They didn't come down behind us. Little concerned about it, but. Ah, there we go. Wait, before. Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out, just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. We're Jonas, all getting out of we here. We're all getting out of here. I mean, look, we're about to fix this in two minutes. Uh -huh. Two minutes. This is microwave popcorn of a problem. I'm not asking. I'm telling. I'm not going to leave dream you here. a little dream, buddy. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to leave you. Now, let's just get this door open, do what we gotta, and get home. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Jonas, wait! Jonas, wait, like, don't. Why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going on before we head okay, in. Okay, if it'll make you feel better, we'll investigate the case of Jonas's mom's weird song before we save our lives. Sounds perfect. Okay. It's like breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? I mean, it's just so crazy... Yeah, I'll fix it. They told me not to let you talk to your mom. It's... It sounds like it's her. Like a recording, or it's just... It's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but... You can hear that. The voice, We should go. Right? We should go, Jonas. I think we should go. Really. Wait, wait, wait. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been like no, talking no, Jonas, the please, entire please. night. No, no, Jonas, please. Do you please? think it's... Like it could be. Right? It's no. Just, Jonas, please. With, with everything that's please? happened, she could have come here. I, don't. Jonas, I'm sorry, but I, I really don't think that's her. Like, really her. Well, how would you know? And I mean, you don't know that for sure. Please. Well, I'm not saying I know that for sure, but from the stuff we've seen tonight, it just... This no. has to be possible. It's right? not. God, she's like so close. You can just... Can you just try and tune in the signal? This tape player thing isn't even... I have no clue what's going on, but... If you we can, should I leave. Tough to understand, but we really should be using the radio to get out of here, and, like, that's it. We have to leave. We don't have to leave. You just want to leave. Jonas, Come on, please. I'm sorry, but please, can you try and understand what's happening here? Just please help me out. I just can't... I just can't really get this to change, or... Uh, Mom, can you... Uh,
she's gone. She's gone, and there's nothing you can do about her being gone. She's gone, and you have to accept that she's gone. He wouldn't listen. I wanted to leave. I don't know what this is gonna do to Jonas. Huh? What? Whoa. Uh, no, Jonas! Alex? Don't! Don't! Yes. Jonas, don't! Don't! Please! Please! Jonas! Jonas I need you! Come back! Come. <sighs> there was a park. Does that mean he's gone? Back in time? Does that mean I just warped Jonas out of existence? Did I really just do that? Let's enter the cave. Maybe if we... I don't know, tune the frequencies or whatever, it'll fix this. <sighs> Jonas, I... Sorry, broski. Damn. When people die, they're dead. And they're gone. You can have their memories, but you can't have them. You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Not in whole. Then why, why use my, use friends? my friends? Why, why are you switching with them? Why are you doing this? Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than Yes, dying. I have. The first time. Yes, I have, actually. Oh, what? Sitting in your room breaking from your brother? You're like this one. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. That's not true. Not going back. We won't go back. You will Child. go back. We go back. You will go back. I'm gonna tune this goddamn radio, and I'm gonna end this. This is it. I'm going to end it. Oh boy, here we go. Holy shit. Wait. Huh? Th this has always worked before. Holy shit. <sighs> what? Jonas! Jonas! Jonas? Are you, are you here? Hello? Hello? Somebody there? Underwater? Guess not. Oh my god. What is happening? You've come to close the hole. Right, God? Well, you're gonna find out it's not that simple. The horses I'm gonna close have already it. left the barn. No, yeah, they have not. I've come to close the hole. I've come to to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago, alright? <laughs> okay, well it didn't work then. Why would it work now? God, you're so spoiled. You don't even know the cost of things. <laughs> Closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your your friends from our bloom, sure. But it will seal you up in here with us. You'll die with us again and again. So think long and hard about those friends. Are you trying, trying to, to scare, scare me? me? That isn't that can't be the only way. One last chance. You don't have to die. You can leave, you know. Through the gate you opened. And we keep the girl. Clara Reese. She'll soon be happier with us. No. Anyways. What? 
No way! I'm not... I'm not just gonna abandon Clarissa. Who, who do you think I am? Who do... Who do you think we are? Do you think we wanted to be thrown away? Like some no, faulty no. appliance? We won't let it end like that. How can I how fix can it? I fix what do you want me to just, do? Just tell me how to fix it. I'm here. I'm in the... The past, for God's sake. I can't change this somehow? No, you can't change... Before, you can't change anything. We can feel this... Binding. You have maybe just a few moments left. We feel terrible, we do, but... But you have to know why that everyone chose to forget about us. They didn't! Everyone just... Shuttered us away. Into a back closet of their thoughts. What would your families wait, wait, wait. think? Think about... Think about what your relatives would think, what your families would think. Some of them are still alive. They would think us survivors, if they think anything at all. They wouldn't. They'd they think you monsters. I don't think the change. You can't do this <laughs> to them. I hope the trip was worth it. Seeing the depraved tourist trap they built on our carpus. Did you see the gift shop? You can buy a little submarine foot rest if you fancy that sort of thing. Town is this for you. This little community is for you. They built it up around Fort Milner, and for the soldiers that died, it's all about that. It's not for us. We've twisted our bodies, screeching two inches from your faces for you to, to see us. And we never do. This conversation is meaningless. No, please, please. Leave Clarissa. Or... I'm gonna... I'm gonna try the radio. I'm gonna see if the radio does anything. Because I don't want to leave Clarissa here. I don't. No matter what she said, no matter what she did, I don't want to leave her here. Try the radio. If it does something, then it does. If it doesn't, I'll go through the gate. If it does something, then that means I'm going to die here. But if they all get out, is that really bad? I don't care you what happens exactly to me. I don't care what happens to me, alright? If I can save everyone else, that's more important. You don't know what you speak of at all. If I can save everybody else, then that's what I care about. They're not morons. This isn't the road you want to be on. Yeah, I'm very aware of that. Thanks. Wait! Jonas! Jonas, where... Where are you? 
Okay, this is this is gonna be fine. Just work through it. Don't tell Michael what to do about Clarissa, okay? But Michael's dead. How could I even? Whoa, wait. What? What's happening? Oh my Are you fucking god. Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for oh him. Oh my fucking are you serious? His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is how I am the reflection. Possible? What's going on? Taking all of what I've gone through well, to tell that Alex, there. who's gonna do this all again. Right. I'm Time gonna up. watch myself die over and over. Tell Michael he should go out on his own. What does this what does this matter? He's dead. He's not he's not here. <sighs> You've got to be fucking kidding. All of that. I should have... There was no point. I... Jonas was gone. He was warped to a different time. No. You know what? I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I made a decision. That's the decision that I made. I made it, that's it. I made a decision, and that's it. Is this a memory? My old house, maybe? Michael. <laughs> oh, hey. I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Are you back? Are we back now, or...? Uh, yeah, I'm back. I was only gonna be at Terry's house for the game been like struggling with the stupid speech the graduation thing I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff it should have like a point right it should bring you to your feet about something sure uh, sure yeah give it a theme I'm guessing mom probably told you about my scholarship to state right I don't really know how I feel about it I mean I feel it's not like it's a bad thing it's a good thing obviously what? Great. That's great! Congratulations! I, I mean, that that's awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I've bored you enough. I'm boring me Michael, right now. Michael, say it! Say it! Come on, you can't take me to the water's edge of an idea here and then not jump in. That's just cruel. No, no, really. I'm talking out of my ass. It's fine. Listen. Here's the... You can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I are talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and, and just doing our own thing, you know? Oh, wow, that's exciting. That's exciting. This is like a huge deal, like like the boxcar children version of getting married or something. Uh, it's... Yeah, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. It'll be a lot harder to break up, so <laughs> there's some level of uh, vow there. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and... Uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just... I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm alright to do this? I... You should do it. God, it's hard for me to say since I love you, of course, but you should do it. Totally. Damn Even it, I'm it tearing up. I don't want to. War -style breakup, you'll regret never trying. Thanks. That true. means a lot. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends... Just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Oh, come on, Michael, we already have a dad. You should know. We all live in the same house. This is just... This is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you, too. I love you, too. But soon, 
I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Is she alright? <sighs> is everyone alright? Is, um... <clears throat> is everyone doing alright? Still, um, yourselves? Yeah, I think we're all accounted for, right? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, my arm fell asleep, Jonas but... carried you here. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole... What? It's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. What yeah, happened to you, Jonas? it's important to note that. Jonas, what happened to you in the shelter? I was so... I just saw you disappear. I didn't... That's why I... I didn't know what to close think. Close the tear. What I thought I heard my mom. And when Alex, when we tried to tune into this signal, I was... I don't know what it looked like from your end, but... It was like I'd fallen into a memory with my dad. I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have set us off course or whatever. I think... went back in time. <sighs> Jonas, I think that was your dad. Like, it was real. You were back then. That's... I mean, it felt real, so... I don't know. Maybe. No, I... had something like that, too. Did anyone else? Is this real? Did anyone... I'm sorry, but like, did anyone have dreams or whatever about the past when they were, uh, taken during the night? Um, yeah. Yeah, a few. Just, um, just the one, I think. I guess, Michael? Michael? If it was a dream, but, uh, I don't know. I had my older sister. It was a night where, I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably <laughs> something I said to our mom, but I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa. Really. Yeah, maybe it doesn't matter it's now. what maybe matters it's, to us. I don't know. Maybe it's like what are, matters. Are we alive? To us showed up or something. How did I get out of the, the universe? The tear. Doesn't care about what matters to us. <laughs> then it doesn't matter anyway. No, I guess it doesn't. I can't believe everything that happened. I just, I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour. But I. We think sound we insane. Sound nice, honestly. I mean, we would sound it's absolutely not like, insane. Not like we have any proof any of this actually. Two of you happened. died. Hey, is this your book? Oh man, this is. We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay, slow down. I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, or... that reminds me. What were we? We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom. Uh, prom, prom. Prom. I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? If I find a date. Uh, I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Eh. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do that. <laughs> come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except... None of us are prostitutes, and there's eh. no rich guy. No thanks. Oh, uh, no thanks, really. I don't... I don't even know if I'm going, so... Wouldn't want to slow you down. Well, just... Let me know. I mean, I'd like you to come, if you can. All what right. is this? You know what? Is this it's a joke? Because this is disgusting. Oh my god, come on. No, no. Let's do it. <sighs> yeah. Is it? If this is should. a joke... Tonight's been... If this is cruel, um, and it's the noteworthy. ghost... Noteworthy. Don't do this that to me. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually it's all turning out so well. So we can get the light. Sure. Do not do this to me. You Ren, cannot. What is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the, yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon... I shall be so I cannot remember any, but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Didn't you Wait, say that already? Jeez. <sighs> no. Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. The island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually. Though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long-distance thing, I guess. 
You and 70% of players brought Ren and Nona together. Clarissa left to study what was that? literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog too, if you care. You and 55% of players made up with Clarissa. Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town, and we see each other a lot. You and 67% of players bonded with your new stepbrother, Jonas. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day. And then every other day. And then a week went by, and I realized... I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well... If it matters. Um... I'm taking I'm time off. taking some time off. Just to... I don't know. Readjust my priorities. Figure out what I want to do. But anyways... Oh, what time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. <sighs> I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right? Have I been silent? Okay, I've been silent this entire time. Um. 
It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. What is this? Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless oh, God. The Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Is it just the Alex. game now? Hey. Okay, so what I can find about the continue timeline feature in Oxenfree is it was recently implemented, well I say recently lightly because this game's been out for a while, but it's been implemented into the game where you play through it the first time and then you take your mistakes, your choices that you did your first playthrough and apply them to a new one and apparently this opens new dialogue, it opens new endings, new secret endings for the game so you can replay the game. I think... I'm gonna stop my playthrough here though, um, I've already played through it all once on the channel, I don't want to do another 7-6 episodes of doing the exact same things over again, I will probably play through it in my off time to figure out what happens in other endings, but this is the last episode of Oxenfree, uh, for us guys, and I don't know what to say, um, goddamn, damn you game devs, but I love you, but they had me. I thought we were out. I thought we were safe. And then... The ghosts told me, though. They told me that if I closed the tear while I was in there, then I would relive the moment when I died over and over and over again. And what kills me is because those reflections... It's like I already made that decision before I started playing the game. You know what I'm saying? The reflections were telling me what I was saying, stuff like that, based on how I'd already played the game. My reflections were there because I had already decided sometime way in the future that I was going to sacrifice myself instead of sacrificing Cl Clarissa. So, I have to live it over and over and over again. And I am crushed. I really am. I... I have not been that close to tears on camera in a long time. This was an amazing experience. It is definitely something I think everybody should experience as far as video games go. This game has a story that will keep you in it throughout the duration. It's not long. It's not a long game. I think I maxed out at about four hours, five hours. It's not long. It has a story. It has banter. It has comedy, it's all there, and it also has horror. And it's scary, it's creepy, it's a thriller, it's amazing. But, I'm really upset because I, I wonder what would have happened if I would have picked to save or sacrifice Clarissa. I wonder what, would I, what Jonas would have said. I wonder what they would have said if I told them that I did that. Would he have hated me? Would they have liked me? What would have been the situation there? So I think I'm going to replay this in my off time just to figure out what would have happened had I have done that. I, I, I am blown away, absolutely blown away by how good this game was and how much is in it. Okay, so you start out, no wait, first I'm gonna put this here. Here we go, here comes the, the review. Sorry, sorry, okay. Controls, easy. WASD, shift, control, mouse. It's not hard, they're pretty sturdy, nothing much to say there. Uh, graphics. I thought the graphics were fantastic. It is a little bit of a unique style. It takes some getting used to. The background looks like a painting and there are 3D models made in Unity that are walking on the painting. And I think after a while it really grew on me. It was overall a very pleasing experience to the eyes. It was something that was easy to look at but also delivered horror when they needed to. So I think the developers knew what they were doing. And they did it very, very well. I enjoyed the art style. It's unlike anything I've really ever seen, so... That's a 10 out of 10 in my book. Sound. I'm really big on sound in games. This game did have really good audio. The thing that I want to highlight the most, uh, aside from the soundtracks, which you should check out all of the soundtracks, because the sound is amazing, amazing music, is the voice acting. The voice acting is phenomenal. In this game, it sounds so natural, it sounds so comfortable, it sounds like these voice actors spent hours and hours and hours just talking out these lines, and it did they didn't make it awkward, 
they didn't cut them off, and when they did get cut off, it cut off naturally. It sounded like a conversation, and that's what you want from a game where you have to pick options fast. As far as dialogue goes, you, Alex, need to pick dialogue options kind of on the fly. You're given usually a limited amount of time to pick what you want to say, so you have to make a decision, like you would in a normal conversation. And you do cut people off, and you get cut off, but it all sounded very, very fluid. It all came together with my hands, it all came together perfectly, and I think it was phenomenal. Also, the sound effects, the ambiance, everything was really well done. I think they pieced it together very well, especially with the radio and hearing the uh, broadcasts and just the tuning noises of the radio. I think it was very well done, so 10 out of 10 from the, for the devs on that. That is amazing, amazing, amazing. Am I missing something? Don't think so. <laughs> story. Oxenfree is story-based. Walking sim choices matter. That is Oxenfree in a nutshell. You start out on a boat, going to Edwards Island with your stepbrother and your childhood friend to have a beach party bash that you guys have every year. And then you go into a cave, awaken ghosts, and depending on what you choose from there on out, it really depends on how the game plays. For me, my playthrough, I chose to stick mostly with Jonas, so things kind of stuck around with Jonas. And then I broke things off with Ren, things got really dicey at the end between us, and in the end, when the ghosts were finally deciding, hey, we're gonna take all your friends, you have to, you can choose to sacrifice Clarissa and we'll let everybody go, or you can save the tear, or close the tear while you're in here. In the end, I chose to close the tear while I was in there. I'm not sure if sacrificing Clarissa would have brought Jonas back. I feel like it wouldn't have, but I feel definitely enough curiosity to try it, so I will be trying it in my off time, but I closed the tear because Jonas was gone. He was in a different time, and even though I hated Clarissa, <laughs> I really did, she blamed me for Michael's death, and that, I don't know, it. It, it, it felt kind of conflicting at the end because it felt to me like she was acting because she had a ghost in her, of course, but I feel like it was bringing up emotions that she really did feel and thoughts that she did think about me and about the Michael situation and the ghost just brought it out. I feel like she didn't want to say it, but she did and it was emotions that she didn't even understand because if you've ever lost somebody that you were close to, I mean really, really close to, you'll know it's a blame game. You blame yourself, you blame somebody else, you blame anybody who can take blame, and it, it really eats at you. So I feel like, although Clarissa was cruel to me, and she really did just want to pick a fight with me the entire time, I feel like the possession and all of the hurt that she was holding from Michael dying really just kind of brought her to a boiling point. I, I, I don't know, even though she was so nasty to me, I don't hold that enough against her to want her to die. So I decided to sacrifice myself instead of sacrificing her. And I want to try again and see what happens if I sacrifice Clarissa, but I'm not sure what will happen. But that was pretty much my playthrough. Of course you guys know that, but uh, the beauty about Oxenfree and the beauty about the story is you choose it. You choose how it ends, how things go, who lives, who dies. It's basically Life is Strange, but not 25 hours long, and I seriously, I still feel like living my life, you know? So it's not, it's not exactly like Life is Strange. Anyways, um, you, you choose what happens. Your choices decide the course, what, how the outcomes happen, when they happen, and the ending, which is super important. That is the ending. I don't know if I got a good ending. I don't know if I got a bad ending. I got my ending. That's all I know. But the story in Oxenfree, I can't speak for all of it, but the story that I got, I was invested. It's important for walking simulators and story-rich games where there's not much going on other than listening. It's important for them, for the devs to try and be able to really captivate the audience. And I was invested. I was emotionally put into this game. I related with almost all the characters. Nona is basically just a stick to me. I don't know who she is. I don't know anything about her. But there are probably dialogue options that I could have taken to figure out who she was. I just didn't do that. Anyways, I was invested. I was emotionally put into the game. I related to the characters. 
And most of all, I wanted to figure out what was going on. I wanted to be in the story. I wanted to know what was going on in this world. And I wanted to be a part of it. That's important for a story-based game that you can get the player so enthralled and entwined in the story that they hurt, that they feel emotion when a character is hurt, or they feel stressed when people are stressed, or they feel something from the story that the dev is putting in front of them. And Oxenfree did all of that. I have been raving about this game ever since the first episode I played. I love this game, guys. And apparently there are several endings and you unlock more endings as you play through it, so I urge you guys to play this game yourself you can get it on Steam. I believe it's about 15 US dollars. I believe there will be a link in the description down below, of course, to the Steam store page and to Night School Studios uh, game page and their uh, website as well, of course. But I urge you guys to buy this game and play through it yourself. Tell me what endings you get. I want to I want to know, but don't don't put it in the comments. Don't spoil anything in the comments because if you do, I'll I'll remove the comment. It's simple, but uh it's 2:30. I. Oh, okay. Guys, this was Oxen Free. I love this game. Overall, I think this game is a 10 out of 10, and I don't give that often. There's usually something I'm nitpicky about, but I was thoroughly caught in this game, hook, line, and sinker, the entire way through. There was not a single point in this game where I felt the story was lacking, where I felt myself losing interest, or why I felt that the devs were just kind of plateauing. I thought this game was amazing, it kept me on my toes, the ending had me invested, I nearly cried because I was so stressed and so just emotionally drained from what the the story put me through, but I love this game. Seriously, please check it out, there will be links in the description as I said. This is going to be the finale of Oxen Free for us. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this series, I really did, it's really hot in this room. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. We will be playing through another game Tuesday, Thursday uh, next week, and it's going to be really hard to top this. That's at the bar very high, but I'm in love with this game. I will be playing through it several times, and that's it. Anyways, this is my ending. This is my playthrough. We are done with this. Uh, no hate if you can avoid it. It is a story-based, story-based Choices Matter game, so of course I'm not going to get the ending that you specifically like, but I'm happy with my ending, I've come to terms with it, and it's amazing. It's amazing how the devs tied everything together at the beginning of the game. Like, showing me Michael, showing me the memories, showing me my reflection, and then when I picked that ending, Tying it all together by, you know, oh, you're dead, so you see memories of Michael, obviously, or oh, you're, you're dead, you're here in the reflection zone, telling yourself what you want yourself to do, and stuff like that. I think that is amazing how the devs are able to tie it all together, so. <sighs> I am done talking, I'm done recording, we are good, and we are done. So, guys, I can't say enough about this game, I love it seriously. Thank you to Night School Studios for allowing Let's Plays of your game, and thank you for making this game, because this game is fantastic. Definitely one of my top three favorite games ever, so <laughs> thank you guys so much for sticking with me on this, seri this series, and thank you Night School Studios for making this goddamn game. It, it's, ama it's amazing. Anyways guys, finale. This is it. It's 2.30. I am exhausted. I am emotional. And I am hoping these episodes turn out okay because I've been recording for an hour and a half and that's way too long. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then please leave me a like or a comment down below the video. And please, please, please check out Night School Studios and check out Oxen Free. It is worth the buy. I can promise you it is worth it. You will get a lot out of this game. There's got to be multiple endings. I'm guessing there's at least six. I'm not positive, though, but that's just a guess, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, night out there, wherever you are, and please stay safe. Much love to your face. Finale of Oxen Free. I'll be back next week with the new game. Check out those links down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to crawl into that bed, and I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.
I fucking love this game. Read the description for a better- I'll type this out when I'm not tired. Okay. Much love to your face. Thank you guys so much. You guys are seriously awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh my god. We did another one! Holy cabolis! Please in progress, but do you really think you were-